Good morning guys. So uh, a couple things to report on. There's no power at the moment. The lodge is load shed. So no coffee or breakfast yet because didn't carry the gas stoves. I think I must start carrying the gas stoves around just because there's no power so often so it'll come in handy. Uh, then I'm going to head out now towards um, the suspension bridge and uh, see, you know, if I can get some birds there as well. The gate opens at 7. So hopefully we're not too early. Um, so yeah, uh, it's about 5 to 7 now. So. Hopefully we're not too early and we can actually head on into the park. If not, we'll just wait for the gate to be open. And then, yeah, hopefully we get some good early morning birds as well. It's a bit cold this morning, even for Durban. Outside temperatures are reading 13 degrees. So there is a bit of wind up in the air. Hopefully that means the birds will sit up and uh, we can actually get some photos of them in the early morning light. So I've been driving for about 15 minutes in the reserve itself. Um, you're driving on top of a plateau so there's always a chance of getting um, you know a little bit of different uh, birds and uh, like some of the animals like uh, I think I'm coming upon a small herd of antelope I think they are born to mock I must just double check my book. Some nice small calves. So it's actually worth, you know, keeping your eyes open. Even though I'm just going to the suspension bridge and the, uh, the zip lines. Oh, there's a long crested eagle perched up on the tree there. Yeah, makes for some good sightings. As I was saying, it's always good to keep a lookout when you are in a new area, especially one where the habitat is much different from where you normally are. And uh, I've just seen uh, what would be lifer number 465 for me, uh, which was a grey cuckoo shrike, and managed to get some, well, distant pictures, small in the frame but uh, picture all the same so I'm chuffed to add a new bird at least one new bird and we keep uh, going towards the uh, zip lines now so guys one of the other options here at Lake Ilant is the suspension bridge which we're going to go across now. So if you're scared of heights, 
this is perhaps one we need to give a skip should have worn better shoes So this is looking out onto the Arabi Gorge. I think the river down there is either the Amzingkulu or the Amzingkulwana, one of the two. Okay, now to head back across. I'm actually gonna try and take this forest path and see if I can get a couple birds. Looks interesting. There is an alternative. Uh, hopefully it's not too long. I'm not 100% uh, sure. I think you can only come across one way because it says you stop no entry. So I think you have to come across the bridge from there to here and then walk across again. I'm not 100 Ah, it must be because when it gets busy, there's no 
um, sort of room to pass so you'll have to do a one-way trip on the bridge okay let's go down the path and see how it looks So this fig tree we're coming up to is 135 years old. I'm just gonna stop underneath it and see if there are any birds here. Oh, there was a jackal buzzard sitting in the tree and he's just flown off as we arrived. That's a cool sighting. <laughs> 